Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for September 10th. This is a reading for somebody, I don't know who, it may or may not be you, okay? This is a general reading, it's not a private reading. Uh, this is just an energy that I am picking up on. Um, it's not sign specific, and it's really not date specific. I just do a reading every day, okay? So it may be for the 10th, maybe for the 11th, maybe, I don't know when. Let's just see what comes up. I'm focusing on the 10th, but we'll see. King of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. Domineering. Okay. So, hmm. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. This is somebody that is not investing fully, probably not investing fully in a relationship, focused more on their job, focused more on their money, or this person may be trying to dominate a situation with their power. I don't know. The fool reversed. This is foolish. <laughs> okay. It is foolish. It is foolish. Um, somebody is acting foolishly, probably trying to be the dominant, trying to be dominant. Ooh, the sun card, enlightenment. Huh? The Queen of Cups. The Magician. We have somebody here that is very skilled. This person is very skilled. This person is very um, forceful. This person has a lot of knowledge. This person, somebody is dealing with somebody who is very compassionate, somebody that is enlightened. This person has a lot of love. This person is very feeling, intuitive, kind, compassionate. This person is being foolish, trying to control, trying to uh, dominate a situation. They're dealing with somebody who is very kind-hearted. This person, um, maybe this person is very skilled. This person may be... Um, may have some sort of magical skill, okay? This person may have some sort of divine connection. Hmm. This person may be afraid. This person may be afraid to give up their independence or be afraid to uh, invest their heart in with this person. Hmm. Ooh! Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's afraid to give up their independence. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This person is thinking, you know, maybe it's better off to just be by myself, you know, and not give in. Very foolish. Very foolish when you're dealing with the Queen of Hearts or the Queen of Cups. This person has a lot of love. This person is very loving, very generous, very kind. Looks like somebody's going to be enlightened, though. The devil. Somebody is dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody is dealing with a Capricorn. Interesting. Now this is this says enslavement, trickery on it. Now this is a card of trickery as well. The magician. So you somebody may be thinking that they're in control, but they may be dealing with somebody who has their own tricks up their sleeve. He's somebody that is very hard to deceive. I mean, this person is very intuitive. This person is very gifted by the looks of things. This person knows. Okay. Interesting. A page of page of pentacles, page of coins. Queen of Swords reversed. Interesting. 
the chariot reversed. Lack of control. Yeah, this person is trying to be in control, but it doesn't look like they're succeeding. It doesn't look like they're succeeding, okay? This person may think they're succeeding by dominating a situation, but it may not be working out in their favor. <laughs> well, they're dealing with somebody who is, you know, this, this Queen of Swords reverse, this is somebody who is a little cold. This person, it says unyielding. This person is unwilling to budge. This person is very insightful, okay? This person has life experience. This person has been hurt before. This person is, yeah, this person has a really big heart, but this person isn't stupid. So it looks to me as though we have this person who's trying to dominate, trying to be in control, trying to assert their power or something like that, but it doesn't look like they're succeeding. Not with this person, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> the hangman. Sacrifice, suspension. There's a delay here. There is some sort of delay. Oh, and we have the moon on the bottom, okay? Deception, instability. Somebody is hiding something. Somebody is hiding how stable they really are. This guy, this guy may be projecting himself as being very stable and solid and secure when deep down he probably isn't. He has fear. He has fear. He has fear of giving up his independence. He has fear of getting trapped. He, he has fear of of, uh, yeah, getting trapped, you know, losing control. So I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, has a golden opportunity. They have a golden opportunity with this, this queen of cups. This queen of cups is somebody who has a really big heart. Not only does she have a big heart, she has a lot to offer. She knows her value. She knows her worth. Okay. She does. And I feel like she, she has a divine connection. She is very skilled. I think both of these people are very skilled. I think that she has manifested something. This is a card of manifestation. She has manifested something, and, and this person is really afraid to give up control. Hmm. The challenge is independence. This is in the challenge position. The challenge is, is, is you know, do you want this happiness or not? There's an opportunity for happiness here. There is. And we have somebody here that is very tempted with this devil card. They are very tempted. They are very attracted to this person. There's a, there's a deep bond. There's a deep attraction here. But giving up control and giving up, the, giving up to this person is hard to do when you have been the dominant, when you have been in control for so long. Okay, and it's not like you have to give up all control, but this person is fearful of that. This person is really fearful of moving forward with this person. It's almost like they're afraid to fall in love, afraid of love. Um, this person um, has been through, we have the, the other person over here who has been through a lot of pain. They have been hurt. They have gained life experience through suffering and, you know, they're not going to be duped or tricked in any way. This person may think that, you know, they can, um, <sighs> trick this person, but I don't think they can, okay? I, I, I feel as though, uh, we have two people. We definitely have two people here. We have two people here that have an opportunity to build something. They have an opportunity to build something, to start something that could lead to something long term. But we have we have somebody here that is delaying or somebody that is really afraid of getting trapped. Really, really afraid. This is like the master of non-attachment, the hangman. Okay, the hang, that's what the hangman is. So this person is afraid of attachment. So they're not moving forward. They're stalling. We have somebody here that is stalling. Um, even though they are deeply, deeply attracted with this devil card, it's like they really, really want this. They really want this person. They they do. They want this person. But um, because of this person's life experience, this person is like, well, you know, it's either all or nothing. 
it's all or nothing and that's what it has to be so i feel like we have this person that it has really is really reserving themselves this person is reserving themselves for the one that is going to prove the one that is going to prove and this person probably knows that he has to prove you know he has to prove his value he has to prove his worth he has to prove that you know he wants this because she's not just going to give it away anyhow um Looks to me as though we have a power struggle here. There's there's somebody that, you know, is reluctant to take any action towards this person because they're afraid of falling in love. And that's what I got. I mean, that is what I see. It's like, I'm a, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to give up my independence. But they see that this is a big, bright opportunity for happiness. It's huge. It's major. Okay, we have we have a lot of major cards here. Okay, major, 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 major. So this is some sort of universally driven plan. It's like the universe has when you get all these majors, the universe is bringing two people together. And we have this masculine up here. This is the masculine and this is the feminine. We have this masculine that is being foolish he is. He's letting fear, fear of, of uh, getting trapped, you know, getting into some fear of giving his heart away by the looks of things. He's fearful of attachment and he's stalling. He is absolutely stalling. He's stalling this love connection. When he has the power, he has the power, he has the tools within him to make it successful. He can make it successful. So I feel like we, we have today is a day of, of, it's delay, it's suspension. It's like not really much happening because of somebody's fear, fear of, of getting attached. Um, there definitely is an opportunity here. There's a strong, strong attraction, a deep one, a big one. This person is very tempted, very, very tempted to, you know, Take this opportunity that this person has. Not only does this person have love to offer, this person has stability to offer. This person probably has money. You know, this person has stability. This person is has a lot to offer. I think this person knows it, and they're really, really scared. This person is really scared. Um, this is an opportunity to go down a new path, and we got this person that is stalling. I mean, that's what I got. That is what I got. So I feel like today is a day of, of waiting. Okay, definitely is a day of waiting. Nothing really happening because of somebody's fear. Okay, um, somebody is afraid to step into unknown territory, which could lead to a lot of love. Okay, they're afraid of love. Um... So do I see communication coming in? Not much. No, I don't. I don't because this person is stalling. This person is afraid. They're afraid to get attached. There may be a message. There may be some sort of message with the page of with the page of pentacles. There may be some sort of message. This person may find some sort of resource within them to send some sort of message, but it's nothing big. Okay? It's nothing big. This person may want to keep the bond, you know, they may want to keep the bond alive, but getting attached is a problem here. This person is having a hard time mastering their emotions. They're having a hard time moving forward. This person is unwilling to budge. This person is unwilling to, um, you know, just give it away easily. It's like, you know, I have something solid to offer. You need to come to me with something solid. So, yeah, that's what I have for today. I feel like today is a day of waiting. It's a day of of uh, the masculine um, dealing with his fears, thinking about, 
you know, what he wants to do. You know, he may be dealing with somebody that, you know, this person does have a big heart, but she has been so hurt that she doesn't trust. She doesn't trust, and he is going to have to prove himself to her. He absolutely is. She may have dealt with somebody who, who betrayed her. Obviously, the Queen of Swords is in, in reversed. So we have somebody here that is, is unwilling to, you know, just give in. It's, it's either you come with something solid or not. So I feel like today isn't a big day of movement. It's not. I think there is some sort of uh, ego or pride or something like that that is in the way of happiness. So, yeah. We're dealing with a Capricorn. Most likely Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini. Uh, we have Cancer again. We have Pisces a couple times. Capricorn and Pisces are pretty prominent here. We have Leo. We have Aries. We have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, either way, we have a Masculine that is afraid to make any offer or afraid to make move forward there's definitely fear he's afraid to take a risk he's afraid to take a risk even though this is a big bright opportunity and he sees it as such he does he knows this is a golden opportunity but he will have to find the resources within him to let his guard down and take action and you know taking action is scary so I there's definitely fear here there's definitely some fear fear of attachment fear of getting attached eat to get let down right but anyway um so yeah that's what I got good luck